Back to uh, muscle and <laughs> and uh, my interest today uh, on the space on the shell mission STS seven eight. You lost a lot of quadriceps muscle, but I was stunned by the fact that uh, you lost a significant amount of hamstring muscle as well. And uh, if you read the textbooks, uh, the hamstring muscle is not uh, considered like a postural muscle. But yet, you know, well, it was not as significant as the quadriceps, but it was like, you know, let's say half of it. Yeah. That tells me that uh, the hamstring may be more uh, involved in uh, daily activities than uh, we generally think. What's your thinking from your uh, uh, experience with animals? I know nothing about uh, hamstring in uh, in other mammals, but uh, I mean, it's textbooks say it's not a postural muscle. Period. Well, I mean, but you're the expert here in terms of your global hamstring project too, and uh, you work with uh, you know um, professional football, uh, well, soccer teams. Uh, and uh, you know problems with hamstring injuries and things of that nature there, how to rehab them and get them back. But um, you know, as a veterinarian, dogs, horses, athletes, there, ham, you know that that muscle, the, the analogous muscle, is is important, is a very important muscle, and it's important in us too. And uh, you're right, it may not be textbook classified as an anti-gravity muscle, but I can tell you that it is, because uh, when they're doing biopsies of my soleus and biopsies of my hamstring back there. Um, I notice a significant amount of atrophy and weakness when I get back. And to give you an anecdotal story, on my second flight, uh, actually, take that back, on my fourth flight, I was 50 years old, you know, getting up there, you know, and my, uh, one of the people on board with me was the same age. And when we got back, uh, within uh, two days, three days of being back, uh, both of us had hamstring injuries, ripped hamstring, and it was painful. Uh, and just short bursts, uh, you know, we knew we shouldn't, uh, but things happen and you had to move fast. And in this case, I was, I was actually helping a lady who, who left uh, her car running and left it in reverse and it started to roll down her driveway. And I ran, just jumped fast and ran and sprinted. Uh, and as I did that, I felt a pop in my hamstring and I ripped my hamstring muscle. And it, it you know, it, it took me down, actually. I, I mean, I, I made it to the car and got the car stopped, but, uh, and uh, I went and reported that and they were like, yeah, it's gotta be something to do with space flight, right? And within a day, the same thing happened to another person wow. on the flight, 50 years old. Uh, so there's something going on with the hamstring and degeneration and its atrophy is going to be detrimental to people when they come back if you're not looking at some way to keep it healthy in space. And on a shuttle flight, we weren't. It just went away. And when we got back, it could not handle, uh, you know, it could not handle being back uh, with what it normally was used to. And, you know, my mind, my brain was, was kind of back to where I wanted to do this and move. Wow. It couldn't take it. So. Uh, that, that impressed me a lot to the point where I, I tried to get that, tried to get him to write that up and publish it, but it didn't happen. That's a good, that's an interesting observation too, guy. On a space shuttle mission, same age. the same thing, very yeah, interesting. Tells day. you something. We don't know if it's neural or just exactly. the degeneration of the hamstring muscle, or the maybe uh, uh, it affects the, the, the length of the muscle, that could be an issue. I think the length of the muscle is definitely affected. It definitely constricts and contracts because you're not using it. And then you have to stretch it out. But the Golgi tendon organs in, 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 the, uh, in the muscle cells themselves and the attachments of the tendinous attachments there, probably the tight junctions, what's happening with the attachments, they probably degenerate also. And I think that was probably part of the reason why it just detached. And when you start to run, you know, the proprioception and all that stuff, you know, it's screwed up. Yeah, exactly.